just before 1 a.m. on Friday, February 8th, the Vernon North Okanagan RCMP received a report of a break and enter in progress at a residential home located in the 9,800 block of Park Lane in Lavington, BC. It was reported that there were possible shots fired resulting in one occupant from the home sustaining non-life-threatening injuries. Approximately a half an hour later, after the break-in incident was reported, RCMP officers were called to another address located in the 4800 block of 27th Street in Vernon, BC, in regards to a male who had sustained an apparent gunshot injury. This male has since died as a result of his injuries. Vernon North RCMP officers have currently secured and are investigating multiple crime scenes and believe that the two incidents may be related at this time. The investigation is in the early stages and please continue to examine the scenes for physical evidence and canvas the area for witnesses. I don't have any other further information at this time, but I'll open the floor now to a couple questions. Uh, are, are you familiar with the house in Lavington? Have you been called over there before? Uh, actually, that information I don't actually know at this time. Um, we're still working on who's involved in this incident. That non-life-threatening injury, was that also a gunshot wound? Uh, we're still working on confirming those details with that person at this time. What makes you believe that it's the two incidents are connected? Well, given the time and the nature of the events, we believe the two incidents are related, given how they were reported, the injuries sustained on both ends. And was the person a guest of the hotel? Um, what person? The person who was shot or died outside the hotel. Again, the investigation into all of those details is ongoing. We're still trying to determine who's involved, um, where they're from, and, and, um, and why they were at the hotel at the time. Any indication of it being gang or drug related? Those details, again, are still under investigation. It's, this is very fluid. Um, we have all hands on deck. We've got multiple resources. We've got the Southeast District Major Crime Unit here, as long as our, along with our general investigative section, plus multiple um, other units, such as forensic identification um, and such as that. So we're working as hard as we can to figure out all these details. Had you been at that house in Lamington before? That I don't know. I'm not sure if police have ever been to that residence or not. Any idea on how many occupants were in that house? Um, at this time, we're still trying to determine that. Um, we're not releasing that information right now, just for the sake of the victims and, and the protection of their identity. The individual who was, I'm assuming he was shot in Lavington, was he? Um, no, we can't assume, we don't know that yet. We're still assessing those injuries right now, but we do know that one person sustained non-life-threatening injuries. Is that person in Vernon General Hospital? We don't confirm what medical facility they've been transported to. And you said this, you believe this was targeted? We do believe that the incident is targeted at this time. However, we are working on the details to determine if there are other people involved. Are you looking for more suspects? We're working on that right now. We're trying to determine if there was other people involved at the time. We do have obviously one male deceased, as I said. So at this time, we're looking and investigating into those details. The male? What's the age of the deceased? I don't know the age of the de or the identity at this point. What can you tell us about the man in custody? I can't tell you anything about the man in custody right now. All I can confirm is that we do have one male in custody at this time. Is it local? Though that detail I don't know. He was taken into custody at the house or at the hotel? Again, those are details that are not released for, for public right now. What message do you have for the general public? Well, obviously, if you have seen anything in and around the 1 o'clock time in your area, especially in the Park Lane area of Lavington, or around the 1 o'clock, 1.30 time frame around Village Green Mall, um, Village Green, sorry, Hotel, and around 27th Street to call the police immediately and let us know what kind of information you have. Are you looking for a particular vehicle or anything to that effect? Again, we're still um, gathering all the evidence and trying to determine who's involved, what vehicles are involved, and all those things. So we're, we're really early in, in, into this investigation. Um, the, investiga the investigative teams right now are, are meeting to determine what, what's next. Can you okay. Tell us anything about that vehicle that is under the tent at the moment? No, at this time, I, I don't know if that vehicle is related or not. I, we don't know those details. We're still, we're still working on all of that right now to determine who this person is, where they came from. Okay? And I'll close it up for questions now. Thank you.